All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year two with our Ottawa Senators. The last video, we started up the simulation, and it didn't go too well, 3-7-0. and And our goal for this year is to make it back to the playoffs, to be a competitive team. So I was asking you guys at the end of the last video, what should we do? Because I want to write this ship right away. I don't want to continue on the streak that we're on because we're going to play ourselves out of a playoff position uh, pretty soon, right? So things need to be changed, and I'm actually going to make some changes. So we're not going to start the simulation just yet. We're going to read some comments. Up first, get a legitimate first-line player to play with Bobby Ryan and Kyle Turris. Stone and Hoffman can play together on the second line and help each other improve. Go out and look for a nice sniper or power forward that is 88-plus overall. So this guy wants me to get a first-line left wing. Next comment, Johnny, I think you should really look at acquiring a legitimate top-line left winger. This guy, the same thing. I think the package could include MacArthur and Hammond, provided that you can get a decent backup in return as part of the deal. All right, so these guys both want me to go out and get a first-line left winger, and you know what? I can kind of understand that. Stone, first of all, is only 84 overall, so he would benefit from playing on the second line right wing, in my opinion. And MacArthur, 85 overall, you know, then he gets replaced to upgrade MacArthur to an 88 overall, yeah, that would definitely help out our simulation. But, man, to get a first-line left wing at this point in the season, I'd have to give up, like, a draft pick or something, right? I don't know if I'm I'm ready to do that just yet. I want to help the team, but that's a massive trade. Ah, uh, Jesus, man. The next comment, look at this. Put CC on the second-line right defense. Seriously, you'll regret it if you don't. You need him to grow and improve your defensive core even more for the future. So this guy's saying to put Cody CC on the top four. I already did that in the last video because I was trying to shake things up. All right, but this guy says to keep him there for the entire year. All right, I could think about doing that. Next comment. I understand you want to get back in the playoffs, but it's clear you are tentative to make any sort of trade. Absolutely. I don't, I don't want to make something. I don't want to force. I don't want to be forced to do something that eventually I'm going to regret. So there aren't many immediate options. 3-7-0 is a bad start, but you can recover from it. But but switch Mathot and Braun. So this guy's saying that I should switch up uh, Mathot and Braun. Cody CC should play with Mathot on the second line. Okay. Mathot may be older, but he is doing better than Braun, who currently has the worst plus minus on the team. I didn't know that. All right, so that's a good... That's a good a uh, tip right there. Lastly, MacArthur has worn out his welcome. Poor Clark MacArthur, man. You need to trade him while he still has the value. Um, maybe get a second-line sniper. Someone like Matt Molson or Thomas Vanek would work well. You might have to throw in a third-round pick, but it would be worth it. So here's another guy saying that Clark MacArthur needs to be traded. All right. So, I figured out what I want to do, okay? I've uh, come up with a strategy, and I've come up with a deadline for us in that strategy. I don't want to make any major changes just yet, but if we get to the deadline and we're still not a good team, then I think some major changes need to happen, okay? Like, major changes. So, first thing, we're going to put on automated goalie rotations, because between Andrew Hammond and uh, Robin Lehner, neither one of them has really proven themselves as the top goaltender here in Ottawa, so... I can't micromanage every single game, so we're just going to go with them on automated because they're both the same overall. They're both got the same kind of games played. We'll just let them go, and we'll see which goaltenders play better. Second thing, we're going to do that Cody CC, uh, Cody CC move that this guy was talking about. Mathot and CC Braun can move down to Phillips. Then we have right-handers on the right side, left-handers on the left side. I like that. Uh, power play. Uh, Cody CC is there, but Braun is better offensively than Mathot, so we're going to leave Braun right there. But what we're going to do with the first line is, first I want to move Stone down to the second line right wing to help out his potential with the future, and also we're going to give Clark MacArthur one last chance to get her done here in Ottawa on the first line left wing. Alright, he's 85 overall, we're going to give him one more chance here. Now hang on, I'm going to explain myself to you guys. Uh, Bobby Ryan, now we're going to get him on the right side. Stone, you're going to play on the second line. MacArthur's going to get first line time. Torres, Bobby Ryan's been a jet stone. Penalty kill, penalty kill, four on four lines, Ryan, MacArthur, yeah, that all works out. Okay, so the reason I'm doing that is because I want Stone to play on the second line, so maybe he can jump to an 85-86, and MacArthur on the first line left wing because I don't want to make that trade just yet, but the deadline is 15 regulation losses. MacArthur, this is your last chance to prove yourself a worthy member for this season. If we get to 15 regulation losses and we're still below 500, then yeah, major changes need to happen, but if we can get 
get to 15 regulation losses and pull ourselves out of this hole with this new lineup, maybe I don't want to make any changes. All right. It's still very early on in the season. So let's just get to 15 regulation losses. All right. That's, that's the deadline boys. Okay. Don't worry. I'm not ignoring your comments and we actually have some more still. Uh, next, I feel you should trade Hammond and Laner together for a goalie that is 87, 88 overall. This one wasn't well, uh, too well received. 12 dislikes and seven, uh, disagree. I don't think I can do that, man. I gotta, I gotta hold on to these guys. And this is the thing, man. I want to make the playoffs this year. I don't want to be forced into any major change. Oh my God. Eric Carlson's been, <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. He's going to miss the entire month. MCL sprain, November 30th. And we just won that game against the Edmonton Oilers. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about this comeback that we could have. All right, Cody CC, get up there, son. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, Cody cc has got to get up there. Braun, you're coming up to the second line now. There you go. And we're bringing in Schlemko. Oh, my God, that really hurts us now. Ah, talk about just bad luck. All right, Weir Koch, get in there. Uh, Mathot, sure, why not? Weir Koch and Mathot. God damn it, man, that's a long injury. That really is. Penalty kill, penalty kill. Four on four lines. Uh... Method no, 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 no. Well, yeah, you know what? Ah, Cody CC. There you go. Let me just do this. There you go. Cody CC and Phillips. We're going to put Schlemko in there. Extra attacker, Bobby Ryan, and uh, we'll go with Kyle Turris. Uh, goaltenders, Andrew Hammond. Shootouts. We'll go with, let's just move all these guys down one because he was the best one. And then let's go with, who should we go with? Hoffman, playmaker. Yeah, we'll go with Mike Hoffman. All right, there you go. Let's switch back. All right, so we're going to have to go... We're going to have to go the month without Eric Carlson. So those 15 regulation losses, man, that hurts. That hurts Clark MacArthur's chances. There's a regulation loss. We beat the Edmonton Oilers 7, uh, seven to nothing. <laughs> that was a nice way to come back. All right, but there you go. There's two wins in three games. This is what I mean, man. 3-7-0 start. We can easily turn that around. I want to give Clark the, the chance, and I don't want to be forced into a trade. We're back, boys. I had a little bit of uh, video recording problems, but you only missed a little bit. All right, that game against the Nashville Predators, we lost 4-2, and then we just won against the Chicago Blackhawks. All right, so let's continue here. Eric Carlson is still injured. Hopefully he's back before... Oh, man, it's still... Yeah, it's still a ways away. And this, this really hurts Clark MacArthur's chances, man, just because... You know, we could be losing games just because we don't have that top two defenseman. Last year, Eric Carlson didn't get injured at all. And now Tommy Wingles has broken his leg and he's not coming back till January 25th. The injury bug is hitting the Ottawa Senators in a horrible way right now. Oh my God, this is bullshit. All right, Curtis. Now's your chance to shine, son. Third line center. Yeah, I got to go Chase on and Chris Neal now. Yeah, Neil, get in here, son. That's why I got these depth players. Damn, man, the injury bug is hurting us this year. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Wingles? Oh, is he already scratched? Yeah, he's already scratched. All right, so that's gonna hurt us. It's gonna hurt our penalty kill as well. Smith, uh, is Lazar ready for some penalty kill time, or should it be Zabinijad? Yeah, you know what, Lazar might be able to do it. I'll give him uh, Zabinijad. Should I give him time? No, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, you know what, Curtis Lazar, you gotta step up big time here, son. The Ottawa Senators need you. All right, so Curtis Lazar is getting the chance to go in there. Curtis Lazar again. Oh my God, this is not good. I might have just screwed over Clark MacArthur with my 15 loss regulation. You know what, though? I mean, it is what it is. You guys you guys say that we need that first line left wing. I don't disagree with you. I just feel like, you know, we can make that at the trade deadline or the all-star break. You know what I mean? Because say we make that trade and then we still make miss the playoffs, then it's like a, a double mistake. So if we're going to be making those kind of trades, then we have to know that we are a rebuilding team. And this is hurting us, man. Ah, oh, I don't even want to really... Stick to that 15 loss in regulation now because this isn't fair to lose your third line center and Eric Carlson. Oh my God, the injury bug hurt us. Come on now, get Eric Carlson back here. Help out Clark MacArthur. We were 3 7 and 0. We're now what, like 4 4 4 and 1? 3 7 and 0 to 4 4 and 1 with two major injuries, right? So, ah, uh, oh, there's another regulation loss. We just can't get up there anymore. Ah, oh, there's another regulation loss. <laughs> These damn injuries, man. These injuries killed us. There you go. Eric Carlson is back. Thank God. Oh, these injuries killed us. Um, thoughts. All right, so we got to do this again. Braun, you're going to get down there. Schlemko, you're being replaced by Carlson. There you go. Cody Cece right down there. And boom, boom. All right, Schlemko, you're going to get scratched. Oh, no, 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 no. Carlson's on the wrong side. There you go. There you go, Cody CC Mathot. All right, power play. Get your ass in there, Carlson. I'm telling you, this this could be the major change now. Oh, I kind of want to give it like maybe I should push it back to 17 regulation losses. 
Just because, man. That's not fair. <laughs> we got screwed over there big time. Uh, all right. There you go. Four and four. Oh, four and four. I got to get them back in there. Uh, Weird Kosh, you're going to move down. Uh, Mathot, you can go. Oh, wait, wait. No, Weird Kosh is right there, right? Cody Cece moves down. There you go. Carlson comes here, and then Braun goes right there. All right. And then extra attackers, Bobby Ryan and Eric Carlson. Where is he? There you go. And shootout. We're also going to get him back in there. Replace him with boom. And then move everyone down one. Bobby Ryan. Kyle Turris. There you go. Very good. All right. So everyone's been changed. The injury bug hit us in a horrible way this year, boys. 18, 13, and 1. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to push it back to 17, all right? So it's not 15 regulation losses anymore. It's 17. Uh, you guys can understand the injury bug. If we are a good team, then we will still pull it out of the uh, the bag here. We're not that far behind, and it's still very early on in the season. But we got to start winning games right now. There you go. There's a win. Give me back to back, especially against the divisional team. Give me something to cheer for. Home ice advantage, hockey night in Canada, Saturday night, and we lose five to two on home ice for fuck's sake. Oh my god. And that wingle's gone until freaking January. <laughs> that really, that really sucks. All right. So 10, 14, and one. One more loss we're going to get at the, uh, you know what? Hang on a sec. There's another, see what I mean? Like that's, what is that? That's three out of the last four with Carlson in the, in the team. See, I got just, oh, I'm between a rock and a hard place right now. The rock is you guys wanting me to make a trade. The hard place is not making the playoffs. I don't know what to do. Uh, come on. Yeah, baby. All right. There's four in a row. See what I mean, boys? Those injuries, I'm telling you, man, we're a good, we're a good team. I really feel like we are. I don't want to make a, a crazy trade. If the trade comes, I think it should be at the trade deadline when we know we're not a team. You know, I don't want to make a trade and then still not make the playoffs. That would just be horrible. So let's continue here. Let's just continue. S Wingles is out for seven weeks. Hopefully we get karma on our side now. Those two injuries we don't have to deal with anymore. There's 15 losses. All right. So I got that. Yeah, I know, boys. I see it. 15 losses. But think about it. 3-7-0 up to, what, 10-8-1, something like that. You know what I mean? We are, there's another win. We're above 500. We've, we've, well, we're not above 500, but since, if you just count this video, 0-0, zero, zero, right? And also, if you factor in the injuries that we have to play through, I don't know, man. I think we are a good team. Robin Lehner's got the 10 wins. Bobby Ryan. Clark MacArthur might be helping out that first line now. Bobby Ryan's got 12 goals. Oh, there's a loss. All right, one more regulation loss, and I have to, I have to think about it. 17. I don't want to push it to 20. All right, there's a win. Oh, what do I do, boys? What do I do? <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right, Tampa Bay, 17-13-1, seven, uh, divisional game. This could be this could be the end. This could be the end. This could be it. We might have to make some major changes right here. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. There you go. See what I mean, boys? I want, I want the real analyst not to look at the number in the top right corner. I want the real analyst to take into account this video, this video alone and how our team is playing, all right? I mean, look, three, I mean, we've won, like, we. that looks good in the last little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and two. Seven and two in the last nine games, boys. You see what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's just, let's take that into account here. We're back up to 500. Yeah, man, I really have to, oh my God, there's another win. <laughs> let's keep going here. Let's just keep going. Our team is playing great. Just like the Ottawa Senators in real life, we can come back, man, way below 500 to string some wins together. I don't want to push my luck here, but at the same time, I want to keep this, if, if we're winning games, I want to keep it up, so let's just keep going here. I'll, I'll get the feel of when I want to stop, all right? I'll get the feel of it. Hang on a second here. Oh, there you go. There's another win. I have some more comments, some fan art that I want to read, but this is this is too big right now. Montreal Canadiens, they're a real good team. Yeah, all right. So there you go. 18, 17, and 1. Hey, we could, you know what, let's, yeah, let's get two more games done no matter what, and then that will set us up, alright, these two teams are not in our division, they're in the East, but that's okay, let's see what happens, alright, so simulate ahead, um, we can, uh, you know what, I'll just save it for afterwards, yeah, I got some, I have another comment here I can read, but you know what, I'm fixated on the, the simulation right now, 18, 17, and 1, let's see, do we lose, we haven't lost two in a row in a while, there we go, we just lost, and Mark Mathot's been injured till January 5th! Holy shit, man. Oh, you know what? That's only in a few days. Thank God. Replace player. For God's sakes, the injury bug hates us this year. God. Next, I'm going to be seeing that your whole team has the mumps. All right. So, 19, 18, and 1. We haven't lost. Oh, there's two in a row. Uh, 
Yeah, boys, we haven't lost that one. There's two in a row again. Yeah, two in a row losses are few and far between right now. My thoughts coming back in two days. Wingles coming back in three weeks. I think I got to stop it right there. I do. All right, we're up at the... Uh, should we go to the All-Star break? Thing is, you know what? We just, I can't make a trade right now and expect to make the playoffs. So you know what? Fuck it. Whatever happens, happens. We're going past the All-Star break. All right, whatever happens, happens. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not micromanaging every single game here, all right? Mathot, you got to get right back in there, son. Right now. Uh, Shlemko, you've been a good replacement for us this year, Shlemko. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, so let's just go to the all-star break. Next comment. Meanwhile, Ramuski Oceanic has lent Evgeny Dadanov back to Russia for the IIHF World Championships. Where has been injured with a mild concussion? What the fuck is going on? Oh, my God. All right, replace player, Slemko, first line time, whatever. This is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Uh, he's let, uh, getting dad enough. Blah, 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 blah. Where he's tearing it up. Expect dad enough to be a full-time contributor on Ottawa next year. So apparently dad enough is having an amazing time in the worlds. Oh, man, we're going to need some uh, some depth next year, man. All these injuries hitting us. This is, this is unlike anything I've seen before. I mean, I've seen injuries before, but this is, oh, my God. Wingles is still out for two weeks. We're losing everyone. Let's just get to the all-star break. Come on, finish above 500 so I can convince these guys that we are a playoff team, man. I don't want a six... Oh, my God, how do we lose to the New Jersey Devils? And now a tough Tampa Bay team. Oh, uh, now three in a row. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm telling you, boys, I think we would be a good team, but these injuries are just killing us. These injuries are absolutely killing us. And I know maybe I shouldn't have put Schlemko on the first line right there, but God damn, I hate micromanaging. All right, there you go. Ah, oh, God damn it. Let's see. Come on. Get a win against the New York Rangers. Don't lose four in a row now. We were doing so good. And all of a sudden, we just start. There you go. It's a bit. <laughs> oh, my God. This is fucking ridiculous. What the fuck is going on? Everyone's getting injured. Zabinichad's now out. All right. Scouting aside. This is ridiculous, man. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm getting pissed off with this. How am I supposed to make the playoffs when all my top players are getting injured? It's not even, it's not even like, you know, depth players, like fourth liners, my, my centers, my defensemen, my top centers, my top defensemen getting injured, man. It's ridiculous. All right, so one more game. I want to finish above 500. Uh, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's just go. You know what? But yeah, that's what I wanted. I was thinking about doing something. GM tracker. Where's my injury shit at? Uh, medical staff. Get the fuck up there. Get the fuck up there. All right. God damn it. I'm going to hire some better, better medical staff in this. I wanted to save up for scouting, but screw it. I'm not giving up on this year just yet, boys. Oh, Tommy Wingles. Oh, Wingles is back. Thank God he's getting in there. Curtis Lazar, you did a good job. All right, Winnick, you too. Chris Neal, screw you. Uh, there you go, Wingles. Very good. Chris Neal is going to get scratched. I got to do this, boys. Oh, Colin Greening's in there. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, all right, so Wingles. There you go. Lazar, Colin Greening. There you go. That's nice. Uh, pa yeah, power play. I should get Greening out of there. For God's sakes, man. Wingles. Uh, four man power. You know what? Instead of Wingles, I'll go Lazar because Wingles is on the penalty kill. Give Lazar some power play time. But no wonder we're losing games, man. I can't even. I can't. I have no depth when I have all these injuries. We're basically just a, a competitive team the way it is. You start taking away my best players, game over. It's game over, man. Smith. Uh, there you go. Wingles, get the hell in there. Four on four. Greening for fuck's sake. Wingles, Lazar. All right. Extra attacker. Very good. Very good. All right, so there you go. Some more changes. Come on, last game before the All-Star break. A very good St. Louis team and the Ottawa Senators. Come on. Yeah, all right. So we're at the All-Star break, boys, and we are above 500. All right? Now, I know I said 15 losses, then 17 losses, and then I kept on going. But you got to admit, man, we got smoked with injury bug this year. We really did. And that's that's not my fault. All right? I don't want to make a crazy change just yet. And this is actually this is kind of nice. It's setting up what the Ottawa Senators had to do in real life. So we're going to have to get some help here. Uh, Wingles. Uh, no, 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 no. It was a Binajad. Yeah, it's a Binajad. There you go. Four-man power play. It's a Binajad. Get the hell back in there. Penalty kill. Yep, four and four lines. It's a Binajad. All right. Then Wingles instead of Lazar. Very nice. Extra attacker. All right. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah, we're definitely going to end the video right here, boys. Let me just uh, get up past the All-Star break so we can see where we are in the standings, what's going on. I'm hoping that our division has been, like, everyone's beating each other. If we have, like, two or three teams in our division who have taken off, we're in trouble. But if we have one of those, remember those uh, seasons with the Arizona Coyotes? 
where we still made the playoffs with like uh, 88 points or 89 points because of the shitty performance of the other teams. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so 22, 21, and 1. Let's take a look here. All right, uh, where are we? Where are we? See what I mean? Fifth place. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not horrible. Now, we still have to make up some ground. Boston, 51 points, and it looks like the wild card. The wild card right now is around 51 points, 52 points, something like that, right? So, we're only three games behind, really, and that's not that bad. We don't have that many losses. Thankfully, our overtime losses are only at one, so there's plenty of games still to be played, all right? The question is, are we good enough? to make it into the playoffs with the team that we have. This is where I got to ask you guys, man. So we'll go through the stats here. Team standings. Now, this stuff is going to be all over the place because, again, the injuries. Uh, goals for per game, 14th. Uh, goals against per game, 15th. All right, average power play, 19th. That could be better. Penalty kill, 22nd. That could be better. Uh, home record, 10-12-0. Uh, oh, away record, 12-9-1. And, and our last 10-5-5-0. Oh. But, again, injuries, boys. Injuries. Hopefully, we're coming out on the right side of these injuries. We don't have to deal with any more for the rest of the season, but I don't know, man. Oh, God, I need the real anal analyst to help me out here. I know what you guys are already thinking. Trust me, I know. Trade, 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 but uh, I want to give these guys the chance. If we make the playoffs without making any major trades, we're better off for next year, right? So, Bobby Ryan, 31 points in 44 games played. He's on pace for maybe a 30-goal year. That's good. Uh, Turris, 28. All right. Stone, 26. Clark MacArthur's got 25. Zabinijad's got 23. Hoffman's got 21. So we could use some more goals out of our top six. All right. Here's all the bottom six players. Here's the plus and the, and the minus. All right. There you go. Yeah. It looks like Bobby Ryan, Stone, MacArthur. MacArthur's a plus seven, guys. All right. I don't know. Defenseman. Let's see this. Points. Uh, Carlson, 27, in had 33 games played, big injury. Cody Cece, you guys weren't kidding, 25 points on 44. Yeah, he definitely uh, flourished with uh, Carlson being out. Weirkosh got 21, all right, pluses. Cece's a plus 12. Weirkosh is a plus 3, so these guys run with. Uh, tenders. let's see here. Uh, Robin Lehner, he's got 28 games played, so it looks like Robin laner has been taken off. And this is where we can go back to turn off the automated goalie rotations and just go with the 2-to-1 uh, loss ratio or something like that, all right? 2.42 goals against, it's like it's a slightly better, but I don't think either one of them are outplaying. Maybe the save percentage shows that Robin Lehner might be the better goaltender here, boys. So what do we do, boys? I don't think I'm ready to make any trades just yet because, again, if we make a trade right now, trade for a first-line left wing, and then we still miss the playoffs and I've given up a third-round pick, that's a waste because if the trade deadline comes around and we're not a playoff team, then I want to sell for prospects and draft picks. I don't want to I don't want to trade my prospects and draft picks for an 88 overall first line left wing. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know, what should we do? I think I think we should just go with some key line changes, see what we can do by the trade deadline and then go from there. But if you guys have different opinions, let me know. I'll leave a link in the comments to the website and I actually might set up a vote this time, all right? So, what do we do, boys? The Ottawa Senators are trying to make it into the playoffs, but we're barely above 500. What should we do?